KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning. We come into the first trading day of the week and we got markets picking things up in positive territory. Pretty decent action as we come into you really kick off earnings last week with the banks. We got Gorg Goldman Sachs and Bank of America out with their numbers today. Let's jump over to those real briefly. You got Goldman up 4.2% right now. Bank of America up 1.2% right now. I mentioned during my program, we have Netflix tomorrow with their numbers. They're catching a lift up 4.4% right now. You got Tesla with their numbers on Wednesday up 3.3%. We have other companies out, American Express. AT&T, among others, this week, but then next week we get Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Google, among others. That's next week. So within a couple of weeks, we're going to find out how much money these companies are making, man. Uh, and that's going to move the markets, and we'll find out, folks. S&P's right now up 30 points, giving up just a bit from the highs. You get the NASDAQ 100 up 147, Dow up 202. Some of the growth stocks really trading higher right now. You jump over to ARC. ARC up about 4.1%. I pulled it up. You got Roku up 6.8%. DraftKings, another one that always is very volatile, up about 4.2% right now. When I mean, you got Zoom, up about 1.5%. I guess that's in tune with the market, but some of these stocks really trading higher. Crude, you're pushing 100 bucks, 99.21 on that crude contract. Gold catches a little bit of a lift on a little bit of dollar weakness. You got gold up about $13, and we jump to notes and bonds. You get the 10 year right now at about 2.97%, folks. You take a look at this thing, though, you put it on a daily. Pretty remarkable that we've been chopping around for the better part of two and a half months now at this level of yields. Remember, talking about at first it was maybe we'll pause at 2.5%, but maybe this is the pause at 3%, folks. We, we're here, two and a half months. We've been sitting at 3%. You have a little volatility on both sides, but pay attention to that number. VIX right now. Trading in elevated 53 pennies at 24.76. I talked about in my show, elevated VIX, okay, barely, but still elevated, which you do not usually see when you have the S&Ps up 32 points that you have a VIX rising. Not indicative of a, few, of a strong market when you have a rising S&P by 32 points and you've got a VIX going up. All right, folks, as I mentioned, Basil is out this week. We are going to have guest hosts. Our man Larry is going to be guest hosting Thursday and Friday. I think we're going to have a treat coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday as well. But today we'll have a replay. But then we got Larry live at 11. We got Fast Market live at 12. Steve Rhodes live at 1. Dave White live at 2. Tom O'Brien, my dad, live from 3 till 4. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing